The opening to the mouth is lima oris, with space between labium superior and labium inferior is the vestibulum oris, which is then split into vestibulum labiale and the feet side the cheeks here, vestibulum buccale. Then inside the mouth, you have the cavum oris proprium, which is bound by the dentus incisivi, sorry, the palatinum durum, palatinum moris, then caudally, the ischmus falcium, and eventually the tongue and the lower floor of the mouth. Um, so the hard palate, you've got the Rafa palatini in the middle, and then Ruga palatini, which the number of which varies between species. Then you have the papilla incisivi, which is the connection between the nasal cavity and the oral cavity by the ductus incisivi. Uh, the hard palate is split into three. You've got processus palatinus fossis incisivi, processus palatinus fossis maxillaris, and lamina horizontalis fossis palatinus. Okay, continue now. Okay, the soft palate consists of three muscles, musculus palatinus, musculus tensor belly palatini, and musculus levator belly palatini. All three of these work together for the movement of the soft palate. In ruminants only, you have this space here, which is called the pulvinus dent dentalis, which is due to the lack of incisor teeth. Also here, you have the papilla conicae, which is only present in ruminants and cats, but it's in a different location in cats. In all animals, you have a connection between the lip and the gums, so it's called the frenulum labi inferior and superior. And then in domestic animals, you have a connection between the upper lip and the nostrils. So in ruminants, it's called the planum nasolabialis. In pigs, the planum rostrale. And in carnivores, horses and small ruminants, the planum nasale.